Thank you for calling Elfrost Vivos. How may I help you? I don't know. I will check for you just a moment, please. Hey, I got a call for that asshole I called my husband. You in here? No. I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't believe he's here tonight. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Mr. Cronkeed. I see you're early today. You're absolutely right. I'm early, and that's the way it is. How are you doing this afternoon, Joseph? I'm doing real good, Mr. Cronkeed. Uh, what are you going to have this afternoon? I will have a Rob Roy. I'll also have a Bach beer. And I'll have one of those pink pickled eggs, please. Very good, Mr. Cronkeed. Mr. Cronkey, don't you work tonight? I'll be on TV at 6 o'clock with the KUNT Evening News. Then I'll be doing radio from 7 until 11 tonight. And with that, I'm done for the day. Rich Baritone will be doing 11 o'clock on radio and television. I absolutely hate that bastard. Really? It's his goddamn voice, Joseph. I swear to God, he sounds like somebody trying to do a cheap impersonation of a famous newscaster or something. I don't know. Rich Baritone's awfully popular here in Sneedville. Fuck that guy. I apologize for bringing that up, Mr. Cronkeed. Don't worry about it, Joseph. It's just that he sounds like he was fucked in the ass at the Columbia School of Broadcasting. All right, Mr. Cronkeed, here's your order. A Rob Roy, a Bach beer, and a pink pickled egg. Thank you very much, Joseph. I love alcoholism. What in the world is that pussy ass looking drink behind you, Joseph? Oh that that's a that's a pink lady for Tyree Sneed. You mean to tell me that Tyree Sneed drinks here? Yes, sir, Mr. Cronkeed. He comes in here about 4 o'clock every afternoon. It's just about 4 o'clock now. Oh, my God. You have nothing to worry about. The whole thing takes about 10 minutes or so. The whole thing? Yes, sir, Mr. Cronkeed. It's the same thing every day. He comes in at 4 o'clock, has a pink lady, drinks it in about 45 seconds, and after that, he's just absolutely Blind drunk. That's just great. That's only part of it, Mr. Cronkeed. After he gets drunk, he starts making really lewd homosexual advances. Then he throws up, passes out, and we drag him into the men's room, and customers piss on him for the rest of the night. You drag him into the men's room, and then people piss on him for the rest of the evening. That's right, Mr. Cronkeed. Seven days a week. Well, at least you're getting some use out of him. Saves a lot of money on mop heads, I'll tell you that. And it looks like he's here now. I'll be back down to check on you, Mr. Cronkeed. I am going to be so goddamn drunk by the time I leave here. Yo, 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 yo. Good afternoon, Mr. Sneed. Here's your pink lady, and let me get your blue parasol. Okay. Like to wait until the last so it doesn't get soggy while it's waiting for you. And there you go, tilted to the left, just like you like it. How's your day been, Mr. Sneed? I just checked my heart rate. Oh, yeah? I have an actual app on the phone. I can check my fucking heart rate. No kidding. You know I know a guy that has a watch that does that. And it doesn't make sense. It's well, it makes perfect sense, Mr. Sneed. The watch is right there on your wrist, and that's where most people take their pulse, so it, it's actually quite convenient, don't you think? It is what it is, man. Faggot shit. Straight up. Whoa, calm down now. You haven't even had your first drink of your first drink, and you're already being an asshole. You know what my heart rate was at? No, Mr. Sneed, I don't. What was your heart rate at? Take a guess, though. I really don't have time for this. Okay. How much was it? Like 107, 108, sitting, resting, okay? Don't have a stroke on my shift, okay? I'm gonna go check on some other customers. Okay. 
God damn. But I know I don't feel good. Looks like you're ready for another round, Mr. Cronkeed. At this rate, Joseph, I'm never going to black out. Bring me a sealed bottle of Everclear, a water glass, and a revolver with one bullet, please. Very good, Mr. Cronkeed. One gas and a gun. You haven't ordered that in a while. No time like the present to tempt death while drowning in a sea of hard liquor. I know what you mean, Mr. Cronkeed. And here we go, a sealed bottle of Everclear, one water glass, and a revolver with one bullet in it. Ah, death, where is thy sting? Thank you so much, Joseph. And you are most welcome, Mr. Cronkeed. I'm going to check the other customers. I'll be back down here in just a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, good luck. Thank you, Joseph. Shit. Shit. Oh, what the hell? Shit. Then what am I doing that I ain't supposed to be doing? You're jacking off at the bar. That's what you're doing. I fucking jack off. It's, it's a known fact. It is now. Look, Mr. Sneed. <coughs> Cleaning up your puke is one thing. <coughs> Cleaning up your semen is is quite another. Find it, put it away, and do it now. Fuck you. No, Mr. Sneed, I'm not going to fuck you. I'm gay. That's reality, bro. Everybody knows the facts. Everybody thinks it's sick. Meow. You know what I mean? That's right, everybody knows you're queer, so what? Factually, with facts. <clears throat> but I know I don't feel good. Get the bucket <clears throat> ready, Gary. Yeah, yeah, get, yeah, get the bucket. Uh, 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 what do you mean, like, here's the market? It's where it always is. Second closet, with the bucket, bring them home, hurry up. Guess what Tyree Sneed care about? What do you care about, Mr. Sneed? Faggot shit. Stop in a desperation. Like, a lot. You're a very strange man, Mr. Sneed. If you love me, fuck me. Jesus Christ. Buzz it up. Mr. Sneed? Mr. Sneed. Now you're going to learn what a man really is. Did you just threaten to rape me? It is what it is, man. Glad we got that cat out the bag. Everybody ready? All right, get that chair back. Get that bucket on the floor. <clears throat> the fuck? I'm gonna go down here and check on Mr. Cronkeed. <laughs> All right, can I get you anything else this afternoon, Mr. Cronkeed? It is time to take my leave. Check, please. Of course, Mr. Cronkeed. How was everything today? Just delightful. My left arm is numb. I'm about to lose control of my bladder. And I can't see a thing. Good, good. I've had a wonderful afternoon, Joseph. And that, sir, is what we love to hear. Uh, just a moment, please. Is he done puking yet? Okay, drag him to the men's room, please. Would you like to be the first customer to piss on him today? You did say you were losing control of your bladder. That won't be necessary, Joseph, as I have already pissed my pants. Besides, I'm so drunk that I would miss a urinal, let alone a vagrant. Maybe next time. I do understand, Mr. Cronkey. Thanks for stopping in, and Caitlin will bring your car around. I won't remember a single moment of this.